Deidre Beecham with Bold Breakthroughs video at boldbreakthroughs.com. Today I'm doing a shoot, shooting a short little video on how to upload a video to YouTube. So I've already created the video. This is the video right here. It's called Free Consultation. And I'm going to open up a browser. And I'm going to make this nice and big so we can see it. And I want to go to YouTube. Once I'm in there, I want to go to my channel. So this is my channel on YouTube. I have my nice little header up here. I know that I'm logged in because I have my picture up here, which I couldn't have gotten to my channel unless I was already logged in anyway. So up here at the top, you can see this little icon that looks like a video camera. That is what you want to click. And it gives you two options. There's upload video, which is what we're trying to do and go live which is very similar to going live on Facebook you can also go live on YouTube we're gonna go ahead and upload a video and after we click that button uh, we have a few things that are happening here one is we can set our privacy setting for this video there's public which means anybody can see it there's unlisted which means it is not listed anywhere it can't be found in the search engine but you can take your link and send it to anybody you like and they can see it. Now there's a, there's a caveat to this. Somebody else can put your video on a playlist when it's unlisted. So there is that slight little caveat there. If you truly want it private, 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 <laughs> then you want to put it on, into this little private category. Private category allows you alone to have access to it. However, if you have friends on YouTube that you want to be able to see that video, you can designate them to see it, but they can't put it on a playlist or have um, or send that link out for anybody to see. It only goes to those users that you select. Schedules is just that. You can upload it and schedule a day that you want that video to actually be released. But I almost always forget that that you can select your privacies here. I almost always forget, and so I'm gonna show you where you can change it on the inside. In fact, I want this particular video to be unlisted, and I'm gonna pretend that I've forgotten, which almost always happens anyway, and I'll show you how to change that on the inside. So first, we wanna select the file to upload. There are two different ways to do it. You can select it this way by just clicking on this arrow, and then find your video. And there's my video, free consultation. And then you can either double click it or click it once and then click open. But I'm not going to do that. I already have the video available right here. So here's the second way that you can upload the video. You can actually just drag and drop it onto the screen. Now, as I said before, I don't want this to be public. So I can change it right here. So I can change it to unlisted. Yay, now it's unlisted. Now you can see here, you can also add it to a playlist. I happen to have several different playlists available. Um, you can set them to public or to private or unlisted. So I have, for example, in the worldwide bold breakthroughs, so those would be my marketing videos that I have on there to get business. I have customer videos, which are videos that I've created for customers. Then I have some just fun videos that I've found or motivational inspirational videos that I found and then I have a whole slew of lists that are just for me to be able to view oh and there's cool music finds so I can add it to a playlist if I want to I don't want to add this one to a playlist so I'm fine you can see here there was already a title that showed up and that's because I have pre-designated some things that automatically go into these boxes and that would be a separate video. There, <laughs> there is a way to do that. Um, but uh, you can change your title at this point. Here's another thing is that in the description, I have an automatic um, thing that pops up in my description because I always want this. This is kind of 
what I want to be seen at the bottom. So here's where I would put the description for the video itself. And then it would end with all of this. I also have some tags that automatically show up so I don't have to type them in each time. But if I wanted to type in a new tag, let's say that I wanted to write um, video strategy call. And then all you have to do is press enter. And there it is. Now the other option that we have down here are the thumbnails. You can see up here the thumbnail is the visual image that shows up when somebody is looking through your videos. It randomly selects three images from your video. One from the beginning, one from the middle, one from near the end. It always defaults to the middle one. You can see this is the middle one and there it is up there. But you can select any of these. Now when you select it, you're not going to see it up there immediately. So I'm selecting it. I don't see it up there immediately, but YouTube has an auto save function. So it's automatically see here, your changes are being saved. And as soon as it's done saving, there it is. Okay. Now I can also choose a custom thumbnail. Let's say that there are three, these three, I do not like any of them. We well, can select a custom thumbnail and a custom thumbnail is a graphic that you have created outside of this that you are going to import and pull in. So let me just give you an example. Custom thumbnail, I have one here of a cow. Obviously that's not one I actually want to use, but I can pull it in. It automatically selects it because you've selected custom. And as it processes, you can go over here. And of course it's not going to show up correctly. That happens. <laughs> Let's see if we can try it again. Oh, technology. Okay. Let's see if it'll save it and do show it up, show it correctly this time. No, it's not. But it's technology, so things don't always go the way they're supposed to. But if I were to click done and get out of here, it would show up as the cow. And why don't we go ahead and do that so you can see that happening. Right now, I could actually select this video link and I could send that to somebody and they could watch this video. But let me go ahead and click done. And when I click done, you can see the video link shows up here. This is much easier to see. It's much easier to grab. I could also share at this point if I wanted to. I could share it on Facebook and I could share it on Twitter, Google+. Uh, blogger, Reddit, Tumblr, or Pinterest. Or I could embed it. I could get the embed file right here. Please be aware that this embed code always defaults to a 560 by 315 size. And you can see that it actually has pulled in the correct image. But you can select different sizes uh, that you want that uh, video, video to be embedded in. So just be aware of that. S show suggested videos when the video finishes. I always unselect that. I don't want other people's videos showing up. Um, show player controls. Yes, I do want people to be able to control the video. Show video titer, title and player actions. Um, let me show you what that looks like. Oh, it's not going to show you. Enable privacy enhance mode. I'm actually not too familiar with that, but you can always click on any of these question marks and it will show you all of the options. So here it is. Turn on privacy enhanced mode. Ah, and so it allows you to embed YouTube video without using cookies to track viewing behavior. So, yeah. So anyway, I have show I have the show of player controls, show video title, and player actions. Or I can also email it. I can email it straight from here. I don't even have to worry about copying the video link. I can just put somebody's email address in here, a little message, and then it will also show this information. I can just send straight from YouTube. I usually don't use any of those functions. I like to just grab it from here myself. I'm not interested in sharing any of my 
friends email addresses with YouTube so that's it now you have your video um, if I wanted to view this video if I go to my channel let me show you what that looks like if I go back to my channel of course I didn't put it in a playlist so it's not going to show up here okay now because I'm logged in as me it will show up in my video list oh. usually it does see it's gonna make me a liar because <laughs> because we're doing a video but let's see if I want to go find it let me go to YouTube studio and this is the back end here and this is my dashboard here are my videos ah now there is my video my unlisted video okay and then at this point there are all kinds of things I can do I can edit the title and description change that right here I can change it from unlisted to private or to public get a shareable link we I already showed you how to get that anyway you can promote it this is where you pay YouTube to promote your video you can download your video although you should already have it <laughs> this at this actually has actually saved me a few times or you can delete it so that's the end of the teaching about how to upload a video to YouTube I hope you have found that very helpful and if you have any questions uh, go ahead and hit me up over at boldyouvideo.com this has been Deidre Beecham with bold breakthroughs video be bold be you shoot video